I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. The forest seemed quiet, no sign of life, or deer. Yo man, alright, so shout out Zinnings, man, I got some gameplay of his, of Zinnings, however you say his name, shout out to him. Oh I look, the Wonder Twins. Twins. Because I lost some of my should have come along. I, I, uh, She's my partner. Didn't record, to be honest, so that's why I yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Right Where's my it, fucking money? We caught up today. I, I don't have the money, yet. Oh really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Well, oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me and then pulled the trigger. To be honest, Frank... <laughs> You scared me. You held a knife on my friend. I didn't want to pull the trigger. I could tell by the way you held that pop gun, with both hands like it was a magnum. Or maybe I shouldn't have brought that knife to a gunfight. I only want to shoot with my camera. I swear. Ask Chloe. Look, Frank, Max doesn't need a gun anyway. So are we cool? Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog is... And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I, love dogs. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? I love them. Oh, 
Pompadour is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into my RV. That's how we got out. You did it, are you crazy? That's my dog! Wait, that's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel? Right on the time. Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. And you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it any time and she'll always be there for me. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice. Or her laugh. Anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. Yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Well, it looks like that went extremely well, stating the fact that no one died. That was cool Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Hi, Max. Just wanted to see how the search was going. Thanks, Frank. We're getting closer. I see why Chloe digs you. It's not about later if you want to party and good luck. After that dorm brawl, Chloe and I headed to the beach to deal with Frank and see if we could get him to join us. I had to be careful and not give him all tweaked out. Uh, he was pretty pissed that someone had gotten into his RV and borrowed his account book. But once he saw that we didn't care about drugs or money, only racial, he mellowed out. All I could think was I'm trying to get a drug dealer to help me find a missing girl, incredibly. Frank actually agreed to help. He knows how naive and clueless we are, so I hope that our sincerity swayed him. I'm still unsure about him, and I can't be so naive not to keep my rewind card up. I don't know how much about I don't know much about him except that he sells drugs and has a wicked temper and that he loved Rachel even more than his beans. So we get to another member to our team. We get we add another member to our team. Oh yeah. My life feels so surreal at this point. I don't know how to react anymore. I can't rewind time and space, but is but is it aging me? before my own time and space 
my learning things I shouldn't messing up too much shit, including my own history. Obviously, my nosebleeds are dizzy spells that are a bad sign that I'm overusing my powers, but it's become almost part of my nature, or maybe I have it. Power corrupts, not yet, I hope. I, rem I remember this famous episode of the original Star Trek where Kirk has to go back in time and let the person he loves die so the Nazis won't win the war. What kind of fucked up choice is that? What would have happened if I had not been in the school bathroom to save Chloe that day? Pretending that I was there and this I was supposed to be there. Destiny. And the fact that we were able to convince Frank to actually help us gives the most hope I've had in a while. Yes, Chloe and I were stupid to confront Frank like that, considering how he reacted before, but I don't see how anyone could say he didn't really love Rachel Amber. He shouldn't have put a knife on Chloe, though, and I don't like that he sells all these dangerous, messy teenagers, especially Nathan. He needs psychiatric. Psych Psychiatric uh, supervision, not just baggies of pills. At least he won't be going to Frank again. I still don't know when Chloe or even Rachel would want to hang out with Frank, but I can't suss that out anymore. Maybe if I hadn't left, left town, I'd be less judgmental, but now we have Nathan's phone, David's coordinates, Frank's account book, and a big Forward of clues which brings us closer to finding Rachel Amber. Finally, so maybe the tide is finally turning, or time is finally in turning. Okay. Gather info on a character by selecting. Let's look at variety. Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but... I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. Right? Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Alright, we're gonna select that. And we're gonna select Damn. that. I, I must have missed something. Alright. Account book. So. Maybe him? What happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Yes, the game is on. Let's get it. Now. Talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. But wait a minute, let's invest, um... Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. So that's the coordinates, I know that. It's gotta be that, and then that. Right? And then maybe... Maybe that? Okay, this is just sad, Max. Alright, maybe that? Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Okay, Nathan's clues now. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. <sighs> what could help me unlock this phone? If there is a dark room, we better find it. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. Oh, so busted. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Max, there's no logical link between those clues. Better look for any clues or numbers that could be his pin code. Damn. I, 
I must have missed something. Okay, Max. Let's, let's it, baby. blow this code up and go home. All right. Now, since we've done all that, let's get. Let's this. see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. I'm getting a contact high just... Huh. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Those clues are not related. If Nathan did drug Kate, he must have gotten the drugs from Frank. Oh, fail. Abort. Wrong clues. Max, all you have to do... Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Oh, shit. Get ready to fucking die, bitches. Alright. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? You really want Boom. Looks like this isn't the right combination. Boom. Oh, yes. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Here we go. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. No. We didn't do the others. Okay, do we get this? Okay, good, good, good. Let's start hacking. Nine five three five. Nine five. Oops, bad code. One one one. one. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass. Find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. What up, need the G? Okay. Cool. Bitch, you sell me what up what you you sell me water. Asshole. Calm down, bring it to me. Bringing it. Stay away, pigs on the Yes! Beach. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. <sighs> Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan. You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan. It's time for you to watch out. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal.
Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data, and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. All right. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? That beach is like Frank's main office. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Not much out there. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. Poor rich Nathan. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Yeah, Prescott. a Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. And we have two guns. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. on a bit of brace on it hold on all right guys so let's get right back into it pretty sure we're on our way to the barn yeah we're on our way to the barn um we did a like a little investigation now back with it all right but I yeah, guys, so I hope you guys have been enjoying the Holy series. Shit, this I know is you scary. guys have been on. Right. Thank, like, thank you, first of all, thank you so much for all your guys' guys' support. <laughs> all right, on the series. Now I don't even know where we are. Um, probably that right there. After that dorm brawl, Chloe and I headed to the beach to deal with Frank and see if we could get him to join us. I had to be careful and not get him all tweaked out. He was pretty pissed that someone had gotten into his RV and borrowed his account, but, but once he saw that we didn't care about drugs or money, only Rachel, he mellowed out. All he could think was I'm trying to get a drug dealer to help me find a missing girl. Incredibly, Frank actually agreed to help. He knows how naive and clueless we are, so he ho I hope that our sincerity swayed him. I'm still unsure about him, and I can't be so naive, so naive to uh, keep using my rewind guard to get my rewind guard up. 
I don't know much about him except that he sells drugs. He has a nasty temper, a wicked temper, and that he loved Rachel even though, even more than his beans. So we get to add another member to our team, Booyah. My life feels so surreal at this point. I don't know how to react. Anyone I can rewind time, but it is, is it aging me b before my own time and space? Am I learning things that I shouldn't? That I shouldn't? Messing up too much shit, including my own history. Obviously, my nosebleeds and dizzy sp spells are a bad sign that I'm overusing my powers, but it's become more almost part of my nature, or maybe I have it. Power corrupts? Not yet, I hope. I remember this famous episode of the original Star Trek, where Kirk has to go back in time and let the person he loved die so the Nazis won't win the war. What kind of fucked up choice is that? What would have happened if I had now been in the bathroom? The school bathroom to save Chloe that day. But damn it, I was there and this, I was supposed to be their destiny. And the fact that we were able to convince uh, Frank to actually help us gives the most hope I've had in a while. Yes, Chloe and I were stupid to confront Frank like that. Considering how he reacted before, I don't see how ma how anyone could stay. He didn't really love Rachel Amber. He shouldn't have put a knife on Chloe, though, and I don't like that he sells all these dangerous men to teenagers, especially Nathan and his psychiatric, psychiatric supervision, not just baggies of pillows. At least he won't be going to Frank again. I still don't know why Chloe or even Rachel would want to hang out with Frank, but I can't suss that out anymore. Maybe if I hadn't left town, I'd be less gentleman, judgmental. Judgmental, but now we have Nathan's phone, Davis coordinates, Frank's account book, and a big board of clues, which brings us close closer to finding Rachel and Amber finally. So maybe the tide is finally turning, or time is finally turning. This is the moment where all the the clues come together, and we finally have a location outside of town that may lead us straight to Rachel and Amber and beyond. After every after everything that happened with Frank, I had to convince Chloe, Chloe. <laughs> To keep going forward with me since I do feel that we're since I do feel we're at the end of the road hopefully not the end of the world but whatever anger Chloe has inside her that makes her so self-destructive is matched by her bones and bravery yes Chloe has gotten me nearly killed but I know she would die for me and I can't forget I put her in a wheelchair to slowly die in another reality and Chloe is more focused now than before. I told her we had to keep moving forward to no matter what. And I couldn't ra find Rachel on my own. That was enough. Now it's time to shine a light into the dark room. Right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. But we're here. Let's go find the best way in. You ain't gonna hit. Sorry about that. Did you just drop to Sonic? Uh, hold up. Whoa. Check this out. I can't wait. Fresh tire Dr. tracks. Wait, we've been waiting for months. Ain't the right DD. Dude, somebody was just died. here. Then we need to get in that barn. Do you know what a long pick? Let's see here, let's look around. Well, while we do that, let me listen to the song. Oh, na 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 na. Wait a minute, that squirrel just led us to somewhere. Oh my god, what a genius! Chloe, Cypress. I found the front door! Come on! Everybody's on way, everybody's on hold on. God, this. Right before you tell me hold on. Right before you hold on. You put the phone on it. Hold on. Come on, Supermax. 
Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. My scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Dude, just more time for me to listen. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. All right, dearest Mr. Linden. Oh, this is 1903. I'm writing in regards to your understanding dance that you had chosen to ignore. The Prescotts mean, okay. That's too old, I'm not reading that. That's, that's irrelevant. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Whoa, was that a bear trap? <laughs> you ain't getting me this time, big fella. Damn, lots of info here. <sighs> Nothing here. Okay, got the bear trap. I was like, whoosh. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th. There's movie. a lot of it. So There's many a... haystacks, so few needles. Dude. There's so many <sighs> Nothing references here. in this movie, in this video, in this game. Come behold, uh, right before you come to hold, uh, right before you come to the pause on him, the brakes on him, oh, 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 hold up. What is this? It's totally brand new. Wait, is this the dark room? Why? No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. It's pointing up there. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, oh, the here. good old days. You have to come out. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Oh, na 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 na. Sidekick at your service. Up, up and away, Supermax. I dig having you. Only if we could fly. Only if we could fly, baby. Yeah, baby. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Here's the other end of the rope. Wait, whoa, 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 hold up. Hold up. Right before you hit me, hold up. Right before you hit me, got the bars on them, but the brakes on it, but whoa, 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 hold up. Right before you hear me, cut the paws on them, but the brakes on it, but whoa, 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 hold up. Hey, Chloe, can you attach the hook to that padlock? Oh, you are clever. I am all over this. Thy will. Sorry, but that's my and new you favorite better song. Step away from that hatch. All right, let's activate it then. Uh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, probably there. Yeah, pull it. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Maybe that owl can help us. Good evening, Doctor Who. 
Sorry. Right. Get out here. So that didn't work at all. Because she, <laughs> you're a dummy, Max. She's got to attach it. Hey, Chloe, can you attach the hook to that? All right, now let's do it. If this doesn't work, I don't know what will. <gasps> Driver strikes again. Huh. Let's get out of here. I wish Warren could have seen that physics trick. <laughs> Damn, this is heavy. Is this the what dark room? Is this jackpot? Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A Prescott, of course. Well, wait for me, like, like scoops. This bunker is so surreal. Oh no. Alright, this is just random. I don't really... Oh, oh yes! Okay. I thought that only worked in the movies. Because... 5, 4, 2. They would think that you would guess 5, 4, 3. But you skip one and then it's 5, 4, 2. Open sesame. Tracer, if you don't stop inviting me, I'm about to shoot you in your face. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. I hope we don't get trapped in here. Now what the hell is this? Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Jesus, I already hate this place. I don't think this is Nathan's place. Those are the folders. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, Does the next one's just Kate. Next? Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning the dose for tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these Don't are all shoot. shots, right? Nah. Right? 
Chloe, look at her face. Who killed She's her? out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. Oh, she posed no. for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Rachel, Kate, all of these vials. This place actually feels evil. No, we gotta look around oh, more. the Apocalypse Entertainment System. We gotta look around more first. We gotta dig up some more dirt. What is this? So who's using this fancy tripod? Guys, who do you think is doing this? Let me know. Give me, give me your best man. Gross. Give me your, give me your best bets. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. I think I've had enough of this place. I was about to say, I was about to say, you want us in here? crazy I really hope she isn't dead for Chloe's sake but I really think she is Chloe slow down wait for me I know exactly where I'm going I think she's dead Look, this is it. This is it. Are you gonna help me, Max? You need a shovel, okay? Let's go. Chloe, stop! Look. Please, no. Oh! oh that smell! Rachel! Oh. String them up against the bones. <sighs> oh, that's our ghost animal. That's our spirit animal. Um, it faded. Is that like saying like Kenton it's like watching over us type stuff? I hope it doesn't end right here. I think it might. I I really hope it doesn't end right here. Alrighty, so Chloe okay, hold on. Chloe and I loaded up our cord coordinates and hit the road. We were both quiet yet excited. It's hard to explain that feeling. Um, even with all the horrible things happening, I found myself thinking that Chloe and I were part, some, part of some greater mystery that involved time, space, and all of our time, uh, all of our fates. I've never had much faith. Not the Kate Marsh kind anyway, but I couldn't believe we were being set up for doom after everything that's happened this week, but I wasn't prepared for the dark room. The car the coordinates led us to an old abandoned farm owned by the Prescott family, and I shouldn't have been surprised 
that it was actually housing a weird secure bunker that was filled with Prescott memorably uh, memorables and worse. If there was evil crowds here, this place was a cotton board is filled with name red binders that confirmed our worst the worst nightmares that not that I even had any clue that our amateur detective work would lead us to this kind of professional hell. When I saw the binder named Victoria, my heart started pounding like a jackhammer. Then I had a real clue about what that was, what was coming. I don't even want to think about the images we saw of Kate Marsh posing conscious with that motherfucker Nathan Prescott. She didn't know the truth about what happened to her, even if she could remember all the awful details. And then Rachel Amber, Dylan, Dylan. Delicately composed photographs of her drunk and all and all over Nathan like some kind of sick goth couple. I couldn't bear to look at Chloe's face as she looked at the photos of a her abused angel. I felt nauseated. All the hope I was feeding Chloe felt like vapor. And then when we saw exactly where Nathan had taken his vicious layout with poor Rachel in the, in the junkyard. We finally found Rachel Amber, Rachel Amber, dead and buried. I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm sorry, Kate. I'm sorry, William. Fuck you, Arcadia. Man, this this game is messing with my emotions. Like, bitch, stay in your lane. Ooh, young yeah, baby. Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. Let's shoot him in his knee. The Prescotts <laughs> have had this coming for a hundred years, I and nobody is gonna get in my Nathan. way. Especially with your help. That's who we think right? that's who they want us to think it is. I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. I don't know. It's too early to say this, but I kind of think it's Mr. Jefferson. I'm calling Mr. Jefferson out. Oh shit! He's in all that. This is like that. He's in all those camera You're things. You're right. Look at the outline. I and can't just tell weird. if they're different. What is there that? Can't be two moons. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Possibly. There's just two Beautiful. moons. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. There's some more fucking two moons. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped Whoa, out. Oh, he needs to back off. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where You're is he? Drunk. I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> just well, a little bit. If you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but. Can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something sure, why fucking no. for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one Just picture. Uh, Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, All right, Max, we still need your go. expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs> Man, oh man. Hi, can I take 
here for code or anything? No, I didn't see any tablet with cat pics. Okay, Chloe, where the hell are you? Uh, I hate touching all these clubs. Uh, hi, Stella. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? Why are no, we thank God. Stella? That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. Why does Nathan creep you out? He should. I, I just want your reasons. He's a bully for one thing, and he hit Warren for another. But have you ever looked at his eyes? Glazed and raging. Me no like. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Do you notice anything unusual about the Vortex Club tonight? Yeah, I noticed they don't give a shit about Kate Marsh. I'm glad for the job, but I think Principal Wells should have canceled the party. Guess I'm not cool enough. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Oh, um, no, I'm better. actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. My boy Dad's wind is still. I love this song. We need to find Nathan and take him down. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay. I don't give a shit about being a member. I just want to talk Victoria to Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. Fuck I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. If I get sick now, I can drink more later. Fucking get tired, but I don't know me shit, am I right? I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you... No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub. And his club. Damn, bars, girl. Not the only one. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the she Vortex Club. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? Why? Trash. You're the one going out with him. I'm trying to get my no. cash. I, I am sorry Warren the asked me to do the movies. The dash, you but know, you don't need to give me an attitude. Me, you know. I'd like to think I'm your friend. I know. I get salty when things don't go my way. I'm selfish while you go on a roof to help save your friend. 
You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. <laughs> Check to see know. if you can fly. I don't think having superpowers would make my life easier. With great power comes great bullshit. <laughs> I don't know. It would be pretty kick-ass to battle supervillains over Arcadia Bay. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. I don't even know where to go at this point, guys. Nathan is the Vortex Club, so his ass has to be here tonight. So lame. I heard they wouldn't let Kate Marsh get your Vortex stuff, Club. Juliet. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? She better be careful so he doesn't pull any revenge point or something. What? Uh... High school, high school should be the best years of your life. I've heard over and over my, from my parents and other experts, what do they know? It's something to Rachel Amber, okay? I've never seen Chloe so cold and hard. She won't let go of the gun. So we had to find Nathan before Ke Chloe kills him. And if that happens, it will be hard to rewind. But we're as close to the end of this nightmare as possible, so I have to block all of those images out of Kate Marsh and um, Rachel Amber that will be burning. Survivor Tick Retinas Forever. There's still a final secret to uncover and nothing is going to stop us, not even a goddamn tornado. Chloe and I pulled up the Bully Falls parking lot and arrived at the end of the world party. Oh the irony, we have to get rid of poor Warren Fast who wanted to bask in his health of glory and hang out with Chloe and me. I can't put another one of my friends in danger. So bizarre to see all the students dressed up in expensive outfits or pre-Halloween costumes, talking and laughing and smoking and drinking. So there wasn't a, as if there wasn't a serial killer going to the same party where the town wasn't in eco danger. I have to go, but I also wanted to say have fun at the movies with Warren. He's so sweet. He brought back some of my schoolwork I needed. So, okay. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. How's the end of the world going? Great! This has been the worst fucking week of my life, so I needed to act like a carefree student tonight. For Kate. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. The Vortex Club is also enabling him. I know. Juliet wrote a story describing it like a cult, and I'm starting to think she was right. It's not fun anymore. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. 
No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm oh, glad Trevor is with Trevor, you tonight. Zachary. Thanks. Zachary was the, the one boy cannot Dana, dance, Dana, though. Dana, Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? Hell no. But we'll see. Victoria, your picture so has to win. Yeah, that would be wicked. Uh, did you hear something? I'm trying not to. Oh. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you oh, yeah, even try okay. to blame me. You drove her to suicide, hell. You fucking hell. Bitch. Give oh, I home. will. You didn't help Kate at that party. You knew she was totally wasted. Then you sent the video to everybody just to twist the knife. Wow. Are you kidding me? I didn't make her drink that wine. Nobody pushed her tongue into everybody's mouth. I watched her, Max. Right. Then shame on you. And you know Kate was dosed, no matter how much you deny it. That's why she ended up on that roof. And you made sure to take one last video of her, right? I deleted that video from my phone, Max. Oh, I bet that comforts Kate's family. I don't even know how you sleep at night. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Max, you are Do you think it's like fate we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe, but... Who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Oh, should we warn? Let's warn her. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I'm not too I know Nathan it. is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're he next. That Max, Rachel. that is he crazy. That Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, oh. but that's not his fault. His family treats him. So that is why I still don't think Nathan like is the killer. Like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're dead. I think he has a partner. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Hey, we're friends Thanks, today. Victoria. Au revoir. 
We're friends now. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria. Max, look at you go, girl! Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting, like, too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. Nathan. How has Nathan been scary? I've always thought he was a creeper. Fun, but you can tell he doesn't give a shit about anybody. Is this why you want to be in the Vortex Club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed at the last Vortex Club party by Nathan. So you should avoid any drink here tonight. Trust me, I won't even drink my own water when Nathan is around now. He's a pharmacy simulator. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. Whoa, 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 I'm glad whoa, to know whoa, you're looking whoa. out for us, too. Take a best friend with that small. Tell me something how you chew and grow. But you ain't grow. But you ain't grow. That son of a bitch is not here. Where are you? There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs oh. or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Um, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, we're uh, on a mission to say the world. looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. Why didn't you, I'm Max? almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now, this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible so many, photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope that. I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. <laughs> she is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now, me too. Let's go check out the dormitory. This fucking kicks some ass, girl. This fucking kicks some ass, baby. Oh, Christ. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. That's a setup. That's a setup on punchline on the junk 
tape. <laughs> well, did you see how that moon disappeared? Did that moon just disappear, or was that just me? Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. No, no. How come, bitch? Bitch, where? Bitch, you got two guns. I know you got two guns. Why don't you use them? Why don't you give me one, man? Give me. Who's there? No, that's good. I know. Dude, this episode has been cray cray. You're gonna suffer, Nathan. Let's stick close to her. She's got a gun. Rachel, I will get your revenge. I swear. I just want to say oh, how on. this is such a Nathan needs to die now. Oh, this is such God a sake, Chloe, you have to be quiet. Max, we can die. die. Okay. This is such as freaking Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh! No! What? 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 Please don't kill her. Chloe! Please don't kill Chloe. How? What the fuck? No! Why would you kill her? Chloe. So we just got drunk. It can't be Nathan. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! He! I knew it. Alright, so... You and 52% of players, uh, beat up, I mean, well, accepted Chloe's request. You and 46% of players let Warren beat up Nathan, and then you and 67% of players left both players, or left in both characters, uh, like, you left with no one getting hurt. You and 65% of players, uh, Warren Victoria. You and 40% of players saved the, bl the Blue Jay. You and 89% of players didn't disturb the bird's nest. You and 48% of players found David's code. You and 52% of players uh, helped Kate find Nathan's room. Or no, no, no. Kate helped you find Nathan's room. You and 73% of players didn't motivate Daniel to attend the Vortex Club. You and 78% of players didn't leave a message on Warren's slate. You and 68% of players didn't figure out Nathan's pin code. I figured it out. You and 33% of players didn't help Alyssa. I didn't even know we could. Looks like that's the preview. Looks like we, well actually, we are trapped. We got taken Please. to the dark room. it was Mr. Jefferson like I had my suspicions but I didn't actually like know until 
um, like, until it said that Victoria was next. Because they were best friends. But it looks like episode 5 is the finale. I'm gonna go ahead and download that, but... I've been, like, grinding this. I'm gonna upload this every day, or at least trying to. So I'm gonna ease out with it, lay low, maybe. Wait a couple days until I upload it, or maybe live stream it. So, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button and uh, subscribe. Okay, if you are new to the channel, subscribe. So, in the next episode, it is called Polarized. And it looks like there's gonna probably. There no doubt about it that there's gonna be a huge storm that's gonna wipe, wipe out Arcadia. Hopefully we save Chloe. Hopefully we can rewind and save Chloe. Um, but uh, yeah, that was hectic guys. So it is like 3. No, it's like 2 in the morning guys. So anyway guys, if you guys enjoyed guys do all that good stuff and share the channel let me share the video with everyone you know your friends your family tell them this out tell them etc thank you so much for all your guys support on the videos and on the series in general which really means a lot guys all right don't forget to comment down below thank you so much for watching this has been the dg prodigy and i'm at the home